Today I'm painting the mummies from Hero Quest. Hey Sterlingers, welcome back to the channel. I'm painting the mummies and they're primed in matte black, but I'm gonna be testing Citadel paints versus Army Painter paints to get these mummies to the table. We're starting off with a dry paint called Sylvanette Bark. This is a Citadel paint. We're gonna put a lot of this on the brush and I'm gonna get it over there. It's gonna give it this earthy tone underneath. And the reason for the black also is for that the skin under the wraps stays dark. That was the point of this. So that's why we're gonna use a little bit of black primer on that. Our next dry brush is going to be Eldar Flesh from Citadel as well. And this you can use a different kind of brush if you want, put a lot less on it, and just try and get the raised edges as much as possible, keeping that brown in the back. Using a shade now, Seraphim Sepia. Uh, I love the Citadel shades, I have to be honest. They go on so nicely, and they, they they're, anyways, they're not thick at all. So for the Armor Painters, I would use Rigid Brown. This is a unique paint from the Zombie Side Invader paint set. It's got that same earthy tone as that Sylvanette Bark, but a little bit darker I found. I thought it was supposed to be a little bit brighter than this. Uh, but as you can see, some parts of it got darker brown, lighter brown. Anyways, Ancient Mummy, another army painter paint. This is gonna go on the top layer a little less again. You're just trying to hit those bandages. And we're using some light tone, which is a wash from army painter. <laughs> again, when you compare shades to the washes, shades are a lot thinner. These are thicker, and if you don't let the paint dry, I find, or enough, it smudges it. Anyways, there you go. Mummy's painted, ready, done for the table. That simple. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you all in the next one.